Hi guys, this is Michelle and I'm here today to share my Summer Lake House uh, bookcases with you. And I decorate these every year. And this house, in my old house, I never had a china cabinet or any kind of um, bookshelves or anything like this that I could decorate. So when we moved in this house, that was one of the most exciting things for me, besides the charm of it being just an old house, was these bookcases. And so I decorate them all the time for the seasons. And I just kind of wanted to share with you because I, I just really, um, I don't know, they're just really uh, celebrating up north in Michigan and Lake Cottage, Lake House, Beach House, whatever. So I want to take you on a little tour and I guess we'll start at the top. Um, I have a lot of thrifted items, um, found items, and there's a lot of family, a lot of memories, a lot of, a lot of new memories and a lot of old memories. So um, I guess let's just, let's go here. Um, at the top, I have ball jars that I have collected from, have been given to me from my mom, my grandma, um, and we do have a lot of old homes around us, and we go estate sailing. I haven't been in a while, but, um, you know, having a small home, I can't, like, collect too much stuff, but I can collect something, I can buy something like a ball jar. I know they have special... Um, you know markings on them and stuff I don't really care so much about that but it's just kind of fun thing to collect what I have done with them is I use them at Christmas time with pine cones and all sorts of things in them but I do have these are like this all the time and I you know I pack it away that we have beach sand in here from the Great Lakes there's a little rock that looks like Michigan that I found on the beach. We have some sand from the different Great Lakes. We don't have all of them, uh, but I do have Lake Michigan, and here is Lake Huron. And then we have some. We've been to the ocean and collected some sand. It is kind of heavy to bring back and, you know, fragile. We've brought it back in, um, like, plastic water bottles and things and then put them in jars at home. I have from the Atlantic Ocean down in Florida. Um, we were, uh, let me think. Oh, I have some from, haven't made labels for all of them. And we have yet to get to um, Lake Ontario. But other than that, we've been to all of the Great Lakes. And these jars are very, they do get very heavy. This one has, uh, oh my goodness, this one is from Isle of the Palms in um, South Carolina. And let me tell you, we just, we love it down there. We were down there with our kids probably, gosh, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And that was a really wonderful vacation and so you know we had to bring home some sand reason that I have this much is because we're a family of five and the plan was to give some to the kids and make some special little you know jars for them that were from trips uh, family vacations so that's one thing that I do with these jars I use them for all sorts of things here's just a big jar that I found um, in an antique store and then I have a collection here that is kind of special to me and these are my heart-shaped rocks and these are also again all from the Great Lakes there's a few that are actually little seashells but there's they're just you know something that I look for when I'm at the beach and that I love and there's a few little uh, fragmented like seashells. I think this is one right here in the middle. Hopefully you can see that. And they're just kind of a fun thing to collect. So that's what I do. I lit all my candles here for you today and turned on the battery ones, but you can't really see them that good uh, lit up. But this is just a candle jar that kind of has that same uh, blue as my 
uh, ball jars that I, you know, it's just a beachy thing and kind of fun to decorate with. And then I have, you know, we've got some little uh, window seat here in the bookcases that is really fun to decorate with. And I have some pillows. Um, I've made some pillow covers, and this is just using a yard of a decorator fabric. I believe this is a Tommy Bahama. It's kind of a fun one. And that's a pillow that pillow cover that I made. I've got them all over. They're really easy, straight line sewing with a yard of fabric. And so wanted to show you that. This little macrame type one, I that was just uh, one that was bought. Um, I have a few bags here that I'm, the straw bag, I just have all sorts of things in here. This is kind of like my little office. I use that, I take it, you know, if I'm sitting on the couch in the evening, I have my book in there. I usually take it in the car when we go on a trip and I have my maps, whatever. I have my grocery list, my to-do list. Uh, my whole life runs out of that bag, honestly. And it was thrifted for like $5. I brought it home, washed it, and then I kind of had to put it back into shape a little bit and just let it air dry. And it's one of my most favorite things. I use it year-round, and it's usually by the couch or it's in the bookcase here, it's in the kitchen or somewhere around. Wherever I am, usually my bag is not far. And this bag is a little bag that I take to the beach. And we use it for driftwood or beach combing. I usually have a bag and we try to collect, you know, little bits of trash in a bag um, so that we're, you know, helping take care of the beach. And so that's what that's for. Um, it's always nice to have a bag when you go to the beach. You never know what you're going to find. And little bags, um, Ziploc bags for our little rocks. And we do collect beach glass. We have quite a bit from the, well, not really quite a bit. I shouldn't say that. From the Great Lakes, um, which we absolutely love collecting. And it's only a couple places that I just forget about everything. And one of them is at the beach and the other one is in the garden and so this is kind of like the best of the best of our collection and I want to share that with you I'm gonna kind of pour this out so you can see a little bit of this in a minute here but anyways that's that's one of my favorite things to do and to look for is beach glass um, we don't have much from the ocean but we do have you know Quite a bit of almost all of it is from the Great Lakes and then we have some stones here in the back from their Leland blue stones and those are from Lake Michigan up around Leland Michigan and they're really pretty and um, that beautiful blue and if you're ever interested in that there's a whole there's jewelry it's very highly collectible and it's fun to look for and then we have some little seashells there um, from the ocean. This one actually I bought on a on my honeymoon. I bought this seashell here and this little one. So they're not all, um, you know, this I clearly I did not find this. This was also one that I bought on my honeymoon at a little place and um, on the east coast, Virginia Beach, and. This little jar, I have to tell you about this little jar, and my husband, well actually the the jar I purchased at a little antique store, and it's, it's only about three inches high. This was found around Mackinac Island, which is up um, northern, you know, between, right there along the Straits of Mackinac, between kind of... Uh, between the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and the Lower Peninsula over a little bit to the east. Anyway, that's a little jar that I found. Another, again, jars are fun little things. I use them for everything. And in this jar, I'm going to take those out and show you in a moment and tell you what that is. But um, then we've got, you know, more of our little collection here. Just some rocks and... These are 
fish floats that used to hold up fishing nets that were actually found um, there they used to make these and they would hold up the fishing nets they would like do all this fancy the fishermen would not the you know make their nets out of rope I guess and tie these in and these are found they don't make these anymore I don't they may still make some but these were found and I bought these in up again in northern Michigan they're not from here they were found probably along the coast of Alaska and they came from Norway um, fish floats are still maybe made some in Norway and Japan I'm not really sure but I have I only have a few of them but I absolutely love them and you know that's a whole world in itself too of markings on them and all that stuff and these these don't have any markings but they're just kind of special because we bought them on a vacation and so we have a few of them there's another one and so those are my fish floats and then these are little um, I don't know I call them little soap chips these are little fragments fragments of seashells that just they're fun to collect uh, people usually don't pick these up on the beach so there's quite a few of them because they want all the fancy pristine um, you know seashells and being these little pieces they just look like little soap chips so that's what we call them is soap chips and they're fun to take them out and look at them and you know sometimes just want to forget about your troubles and just dump out some seashells and look at them on the table so that's what those are and if that doesn't look like a piece of soap a little tiny fragment of soap and it's a piece of a seashell so I don't know I think these are pretty cool and kind of a little fun thing to you know pick up on the beach and, and just kind of you know they're all different every one of them is different and they're just fun fun to collect and this one is like in shades of purple and really really fun so anyways that's our little collection of that and then again with the beach glass there's a whole world to looking for sea glass uh, beach glass I think is more fresh water at least we call ours beach glass it's all from the Great Lakes and then of course you know your your sea glass may be more of a tumbled uh, glass that's found on the oceans and all over the world you guys and there's a whole world out there of collectors and blogs and festivals and jewelry and all kinds of stuff and so it's something that my husband and I have, and, and our children too, but my husband and I have really gotten into this. And it's one of those peaceful things that kind of, you know, help to, um, you know, it's just a stress reliever and a calming thing to collect, I guess, and read about and all that. So anyways, and then I do have some this side of my bookcases I have more jars and um, then I've got you know this Werner's uh, ginger ale uh, wooden crate and I found that in an antique store and that's a Michigan thing for those of you from Michigan you know about Werner's it's made here um, I think in Detroit but anyways if you're interested in you know in that it's a Michigan thing and then up at the very top of my bookcases, I have this sign here that was from a fruit stand, a little fruit stand on the side of the road, uh, about maybe 20 minutes from here that was out there when I was a kid and my husband remembers. And we found it in an antique store and we were so excited and they told us where it was from. And there were other signs attached that said like strawberries and, you know, corn and things like that and so this was what was left and I brought it home it used to be white with red lettering and it was pretty tattered and falling apart and so I gave it a fresh coat of paint and painted it blue and I'll have to show you the other side when um gets to be the fall I I did it up for the fall 
So that's fun. And I'm all about the closed, you know, storage. Just like I told you about my bags, they're just great for storing odds and ends and, and all sorts of things. This basket here is... Um, a little basket I got at a thrift store. I absolutely love just how cute it is, and it wasn't a lot of money. I love baskets, and I have all sorts of them. This was a snack basket that kind of kept my kids from digging in the kitchen every, uh, you know, through the cupboards, and I don't have, like, this huge kitchen. So having a basket that they could go into for snacks was always fun. And so, you know... It's just kind of nice. You'd probably never think there were snacks in there, but there's actual actual snacks. And um, so that's, that's a little bit of closed storage. And then this, I have my little tea light candles in. And um, so I don't know if you can see in there, but that's where I keep my my little tea lights that I put out in different little candle holders and things. And, um, you know, it's just a cute little tin and great storage. So, um, and then I have some of my lanterns. And a lot of these things were either thrifted, like I said, or found. Um, we have just a lot of family memories and every time we go on a vac on a vacation to the beach uh we always take a lantern with us so these lanterns have been all over the great lakes uh one actually i think went down to the ocean with us and they're just you know from walmart and here and there i have a cute little that little blue one isn't as practical to take in the car because it's glass inside but it, so are my other ones have glass but this little one has, um, it's a little more flimsy. It's cute. It's from Ikea, and I think I, I've probably had it for about 10 years. So that's that. And my little lavender plant here, that is, you know, probably 20 years old. That's just from Walmart, and I love it. And I have some more lavender here. These two ivies, and then a few little jars. Those are my only real plants in here, and... Um, I have a lot of silk plants and Ikea plants and, you know, if you take good care of them and I want, I give them a little soapy, you know, swish and some soapy warm water and then I pack them up when I'm done with them. They last forever. So I really love those and I have some Ikea plants in that Verner's thing. And there's some more Ikea plants up there just in little brown lunch sacks and you know I needed something up there and then I do have on this side you can hear my creaky floor in my old house um these are hydrangeas from my garden and there's some eucalyptus in there that probably needs replacing those are that's from um Trader Joe's I think a while ago or Kroger and the footstool was given to me, and I did give it a coat of Annie Sloan, uh, my old ochre that I love. But for this particular stool, I think I am going to repaint that. I think it needs to be a different color, but it's cute. And this lantern here, you guys, I got that at Kroger years ago, and I love it. It's about, oh gosh, it's over two feet tall. It's probably two and a half feet tall. And I didn't, I think I might have paid $40 for it way back. And I was pretty proud of myself for finding that at Kroger. So that's that. And then my little, my Ikea chairs and different little pillows in there. I did not make that pillow. That one I didn't do. This one over here, this polka dotted one, I did um, make that one. That's just a linen fabric and then I made my own stencil polka dotted uh, stencil with a paper punch and I stenciled that that was fun and then this is our table here and my candles these are from um, Michael's and I did get them this year they're really pretty and they are um, I think they were about they're 
oh, I want to say $7.99, but the fragrance is called Crisp Pear. And if you know me, you know how much I love pears. Pear everything. Um, so anyway, those are my jars, and then I plan on reusing those jars when the candles are done. They don't have a lot of scent, but they're very beautiful when they're burning at night. And there's my other, um, my other Ikea chair. And so this is my dining room slash living room summer um, bookcase. And the end of my house here and my oak leaf wreath there on my wall that I'm going to share one of those with you pretty soon here. How I made that. And that's about it, you guys. Oh, and the throw up on the shelf. That's a quilt that I believe was from Macy's, but I did thrift that quite a few years ago for like, a lot, I think it was ten ninety nine at the thrift store. And we take that on vacations too. And it's nice to throw on the beach. My daughter had it up at college with her. And it's just one of those things you don't have to worry about. You know, it's, it's got some um, wear and age to it, but that's okay. It's nice. And I love it for the summer. So I'm going to share a few uh, little crafting projects, summary projects here in my next video. So you have to tune in and check that out. Get out to the beach if you have one by you. Look around, look down, and oh, I wanted to show you the beach class. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. I'm going to share my beach class with you. So this is this little jar I was telling you about. And you guys, this is the best of the best of my collection. So I don't want you to think that every piece that you find is going to be beautiful and perfect. You know, some of them, if they're not looking that beautiful and they look like they need to go back and be tumbled some more, you just throw it back. Um, so I'm going to. Okay, so here's the beach glass. I just poured this out to show you. And these are, this is some really beautiful stuff here. And it like this piece. If you look at this, it's just beautiful. And the way the light catches this stuff came from, could have been some of those ball jars. Um, it could have been from broken glass um, all around the Great Lakes and the oceans. You know, people used to throw all their trash into the water and they would just throw it off the side of a cliff. Um, and so this stuff ends up in the water and tumbles around and over many years, 30, 40, 50 years or more. And this is what you end up with. There could have been like also in towns where areas where boats come in and out, you know, they bring trash and there's a lot of activity and everything going on. Um, and local dump sites and things that were by the water and by rivers and the trash sometimes would go down the river or just fall into the water and go out and so this is the little beauteous little pieces that um you know are in some of the clear your clear glass did turn blue or purples or even the aqua color with time from sunlight and different materials and uh, in the glass uh, changed the sun and age changed and this is a really beautiful piece here it's kind of hard to see but um, this is just beautiful and it's so fun that this is glass that we actually found on our trips and you guys um, I'm looking through the camera while I'm doing this. It's a little tricky. I'm still new at this. And then this little jar I did want to show you. This, These are two little marbles that my husband found. And this one he found on our, on our anniversary. We went down to um, Lake Erie and we were in Ohio. Oh my gosh. And he found that on our anniversary. Um, just sitting on the beach and these are actual marbles and they've been tumbling around for Who knows how long and they have that frosted look about them kids used to shoot with little slingshots or pea shooters or whatever they used they would shoot their little marbles out into the lake and 
then of course you know that's it on the marble you're not getting it back but it tumbled around for a long time and so that's what you you know there's all kinds of little treasures people find you know bottles and like this was a little like i said before this is just a small bottle that um was found up around mackinac island somewhere just a cute little bottle and this could have been you know this type of little bottle you can see that little bit of aqua coloring to it um is so beautiful it could be some of these bottles that have broken and over time tumbled into some of these little pieces but anyways there's tons of books there's tons of um you know, beach uh, combers that love collecting, and there's all sorts of things that you can learn about this if you're interested. And we are by no means experts, and we just, this is like a hobby for us, and we absolutely love it. So hopefully sometime you'll get yourself out to a beach. Uh, the, again, this is all Great Lakes Beach class here and get yourself out there and look around and you never know what you're going to find and maybe pick up a you know some beach glass some pretty rocks and pick up a little trash too and help out the lake and the fish thanks so much you guys and i'm i have a few projects that i want to share with you that are beachy and fun and um, so that'll be in my next video take care thanks for tuning in and walking along this little uh, show and tell with me today and uh, like and subscribe and all of that and we'll talk to you soon okay take care